Maybe that's always the way. Even the day he died, I didn't know where he'd been that day. I still don't know. I know as much about the couple in the other car as I did about him that day. Does that seem strange? Does love really make you blind? Maybe it's just the sign of a good marriage. <laughs> I did love him, though. Maybe too much. It's going to be a hard act to follow. You'd be much better off with one of your other women. You make it sound as if I have a harem. <laughs> According to George, you know you have. <laughs> How do I know I won't just be one of the gang? You're the first woman I've ever asked to marry me. Okay. Okay meaning yes. Okay meaning I'll think about it. This is definitely not good for my ego. Now, can we please get some sleep? I'm Vivian. Hello. Hi. Ross, aren't you going to introduce us? Sarah, this is Vivian Tate, an old friend. Vivian, this is Sarah McAllister. Hello. There. That wasn't too painful, was it? He's always so secretive when he has a new woman in tow. Vivian, we're late for lunch already. Let him drink red wine. It always makes him drowsy in the afternoon. Bye. Bye, Vivian. Bye. Skeleton from your closet? Just an old friend. Very. Are you ready? Sure. <gasps> Ross, you scared me. Oh, yes, and you might well be. Janie! <laughs> oh, Janie! When did you get back? Where have you been? How did you know I was here? Oh, um, today, all over Europe, and with the greatest of difficulty. Any more questions? Oh, it's so good to see you. I have so much to tell you. How did you know I was here? Georgie Farron told me you were in Edinburgh, and Ross told me you were down here painting. I'm so happy to see you. Listen, Sarah, I'm only going to be here for the night. I really need to talk to you. Okay. All right, uh, 
Oh. I was supposed to go to this party with Ross, but it's okay. I'll call him. All right? Don't worry about it. If I wasn't hosting the damn thing, I'd get out of it myself. You sure? Yeah, it's a... a lot of boring people who've probably never read a book before in their lives. The only reason for it is we're trying to fleece them out of money for yet another literary award. It isn't important. Go and enjoy yourself with Jane. Oh, what time do you think you'll be back? and sort your sister out. I'll see you later. Bye. Yeah. All you're ever gonna have with him is the odd night out when he doesn't have to go home, when he can think of an excuse. Janie, you know it's the truth. He's never gonna leave her. I don't care. When I'm with him, I'm happy. I'd rather be happy some of the time than not at all. You can't just wreck a home, break up a family, because you want to be happy. Janie, the commitment of marriage is sacred. It has to be. If we stop believing that, we might just as well give up. What do you know? Your sacred husband had an affair with anything that moved. Janie. But you and I'm loving him. That's enough, Janie. Let's stop it. What a mess. <laughs> the sanctity of marriage? Do me a favor. If it's so wonderful, why is Paul playing around with me? If you and Alan were so ideally suited, so perfect a couple, why did he play around so much? He didn't. I don't believe you. You won't believe what's in front of your eyes. You just see what you want to see, and you go on repeating the same mistake over and over. What are you saying? They're all the same. Paul. Oh. Alan and Ross. Do you really think he's going to settle down? Change his ways? For what? For you? Are you that wonderful? For any of us? At least if you're the mistress, he gets the pleasure out of cheating with you. <sighs> Stop it, Janie. You don't know what you're talking about. Of course I knew about Alan. Who better? <sighs> Ask Jason. He knows. I had to tell somebody. Tell what? Oh, God, Sarah, just leave it. Oh, you started this, now tell me. We slept together. Alan? And you? Only once. He'd been drinking. We both had. I'm sorry. I'm going out of that place. Oh no, Sarah, please. Sarah! Oh dear. We didn't think you'd be back for ages.
Hello? What's going on, Sarah? Why have you come? Why? The hell are you talking about? I thought we were... What? Friends? Lovers? I thought so, too. Tell me what's gone wrong. Look, I told you once before, I'm no good at this game. I'm still not, Ross. Please, just go. I don't know what's the matter with you. No, of course you don't. That's why I left. It all became suddenly so familiar, the same pattern repeating over again. Not anymore. Not for me. Just tell me what happened. I love you. It's not enough. Well, what else is there, then? The grown-up things, Ross, like faithfulness, fidelity. Isn't that part of loving, too? Of course. I once told you that. And I believed you. And I believed Alan. What did Jane say to you? What? It can only be something that Jane told you. Not intentionally. She just made me see that I don't want to be married to you, Ross. I don't want to be married to any man. Then what do you want? Just to be left alone. Look, Sarah. I don't know how to beg. I can't. I don't want you to. Sarah. Don't touch me! 